Welcome to Plural Sight, everyone. This is Land Switching Part One, and my name is Brandon Carroll. In this section, we're going to talk about layer two switching. So let's begin with a little bit of an overview. Now, first of all, land switching deals with layer two MAC addresses, and I'm sure this is something that you already know. We have a switch here in this diagram, and this switch is going to build a MAC address database. Now, there's multiple ways that this database can be populated. It can be done dynamically, which in this screenshot here, you can see that that's how all of these MAC addresses have been learned. The type column tells me that they were learned dynamically, and the port column tells me the interface where I have seen that particular MAC address. Now, these could be static as well, so it depends, but Dynamic is probably the most common method of building these MAC address databases. Now, layer two switching is going to perform three basic functions for me. It'll make forwarding decisions, filtering decisions, or flooding decisions, depending on what's happening with the frame and how the MAC address database looks when the switch sees a frame. So switches on each interface are going to isolate collision domains for me. So in this example, we see the switch there. We now have two interfaces, F1 slash 0 slash 23 and F1 slash 0 slash 22. And each of those would be a single collision domain. So in this case, we have two collision domains on the switch. And the entire switch by default is a single broadcast domain. Now the reason that the entire switch by default is a single broadcast domain is because of the way that the switch is configured by default. Now again, in the MAC address table output here, you can see on the left-hand column VLAN 1 is assigned for all of these ports. So by default, all of the interfaces on a Cisco switch are in the same VLAN, which means they're all in the same broadcast domain. Now this is something that we can change, but for right now, just important to understand that the entire switch by default is a single broadcast domain. 